Today I'm going to video myself changing the whirl on my Magicraft Rose spinning wheel. Right now it's installed with the standard whirl. This is how, um, this is what comes with it when you order a new rose. You get the standard whirl and then there's also a little gem whirl that comes with it. I bought a lace kit and I installed that because I wanted to start trying to spin lace and what comes with the lace kit is this high speed whirl. So it's a lot smaller and that gives you the ability to spin much higher ratios. And so what I'm going to show you right now is how I'm going to go about changing out this whirl and installing the smaller whirl. So I'm going to flip the wheel around so you can see the, um, <clears throat> Let's see what I'm doing here. So first I'm gonna take off the drive band. It's important, you don't need that selling up the works. So the whirls come, when you buy this little whirl, high speed whirl, I have this in my shop. It's, uh, I think it's 3150, but it comes with a little Allen wrench. And what you do is on the drive shaft, there's this, um, I think it's called a bushing. And on the bushing, there is the drive, a little scrub screw. And that's what fastens the whorl onto the flyer shaft. So what you're gonna wanna do is you take your little Allen key, set it in the, the head of the grub screw, and then to loosen it, you're gonna turn counterclockwise. You're gonna turn it to the left. And full disclosure here, when I first did this, I really struggled to get the screw loose because I hadn't changed it from when I bought it 19 years ago. So it was very difficult to loosen. So I actually put a little bit of three in one oil, so I machine oil on it. And really you had, to, I really had to work it. So now that I've done that, it's easier to come take off. So just screw it to the point where it's loose enough that you can slide the whorl off. So right now I'm at that point. You can take that grub screw all the way out. If you do take it all the way out, just be careful that you don't misplace it. I'm actually going to tighten it a little so that there's no risk of me losing that screw. Okay, so this oil, I'll be putting this in a basket to store it. So here's the new whorl, which also has its own grub screw installed. And this is really important. On the shaft, there's a flat. They've machined a flat surface on this round shaft. And that is where the base of the grub screw sits to hold the whorl. So when you put the replacement whorl on, you want to make sure that the grub screw is lined up with that flat. It's really important. So I'm lined up and I'm holding the flyer shaft. The shaft goes all the way through. So I'm holding the bushing of the shaft over here to make sure it doesn't move. Put my Allen wrench back in the head. Oh. So I know my shaft hasn't moved, but I'm gonna just check it again. Now I'm gonna tighten it by twisting it to the right. And it moved around a little bit, but, but I do know that that's where the flat is. So that's on there nice and nice and fast. So now I have the high speed whorl installed on my rows so I can go back to spinning some lace weight yarns with my beautiful Magicraft rows.